they're off in the Cabo Corporate Diamonds Maiden Race. Three miles and 18 fences, biggest field of the day. Approaching the first Slaney Opera, racing alongside Rev Denise and Falling Art as they pop over number one. Taking it in fourth position, the colour change, Kilmore Rock carrying pale blue sleeves and cap. These are followed in behind by So Be It in red sleeves, who races in close attendance. First one, Dana is showing to the inside alongside Ira Hayes. Orange cap of plenty sitting in the midfield. Racing alongside, can we keep him? What's the solution is one of the back markers as So Be It has dropped back a little. And the back marker in the early stages is Dr. Dam as they go over number three. First of the open ditches is the fourth. And it's Slaney Opera and Natasha Cookson leading the field towards it. Ira Hayes is prominent. So too Rev Deneen racing to the inside. First one, Dunner. Calling Ark is part wide, racing alongside Can We Keep Him and Plenty. Turning towards the fifth, Slaney Opera leading by just over a length to Rev Deneen and Ira Hayes. Kilmore Rock and Calling Ark are the next pair to first one Dana over the fifth. A long run now before the sixth. After these in behind Calling Ark and Plenty, we've got What's the Solution who shows on the inside of Can We Keep Him? Two or three lengths then to So Be It, who was fourth in this race last year. The back marker is Dr. Dam on race course debut. Turning right-handed on the long run between fences five and six. And at the head of affairs, Slaney Opera on a fifth start between the flags. Leading up here, second last week at the V-Dale, his best placing so far. As they approach the sixth fence, Slaney Opera on the inside, Ira Hayes. Another race course debutant for Jack Teal, also prominent. As they pop over this to Rare for me, first one, Shanna, Kilmore Rock, plenty falling off. Second half of the field, what's the solution? On the inside of Camry Peak, and then so be it. As they cross number seven, the back marker is Dr. Dan. Turning right-handed at the end of this section, two plain fences to bring them up to the halfway stage. Flaney off the turns first to Ira Haynes and Jack Teal, looking for a second winner on the card. Showing in third place is Rear for me, Kilmore Rock, so fancy horses in the betting third and fourth. As they approach number eight, Pauling Ark is out wide, racing alongside first one, Dana, then plenty. As they approach number eight, last four at this stage include Can We Keep Him on the outside of What's the Solution? So be it is sharing last place with Dr. Dan. Fence number nine, Ira Hayes taking it towards the outside of Slaney Opera. Jack Teal and Natasha Cookson making their way up towards the judge with a lead of a couple of lengths to one of two mares in the race. Rev Deneen showing them third, second over to recently. Rev Deneen as they approach number 10. Hillmill Rock is fourth, first one down at his fifth. Over this same fence. Over jump there by Rev Deneen, but got to the other side in front of Kilmore Rock, third and fourth. To what's the solution? Who's made progress? Then plenty on the outside of first one, Dana. Going over the next, so be it is in the last four, racing alongside Can We Keep Him. Calling Ark has dropped back somewhat, is in the penultimate position. Dr. Dam remains at the rear end of the field. The race on towards the next. Plain fence before the ditch and Ira Hayes over in front. To in second position, Slaney Opera. Rev Deneen is in third and continuing to make progress on the inside is What's the Solution? Who made a slight mistake there, racing alongside Kilmore Rock as they go right-handed at the end of this section. So they move on towards five fences from the finish. Still a long way from home. Ira Hayes and Slaney Opera continue to cut out the running. 
Joe Wright has Kilmore Rock into an improving third. Another mistake there by Ray for me, a little more pronounced. What's the solution in first one? Dana complete the first half dozen. After those is plenty and Thomas Easterby, who's looking to finish for the first time this season today. Can we keep him follows these and then so be it in wide gaps. Opening up to calling up now as they move off down the far side of the course. A long run before they get to the next. Dr. Dam was pulled up around three furlongs ago. So they move now towards the fourth last fence. Ira Hayes and Slaney Opera continuing to cut out the work here as they approach the fourth last fence. They have three or four lengths in hand over Kilmill Rock in a share of third in front of Rare Venise, first Mondana, and what's the solution as they approach four from the finish. Ira Hayes let fly at the fourth last, jumped up well, and Rare Venise has gone down there. Rare Venise fell at that after a number of mistakes. This is the third last, Ira Hayes to Slaney Opera, Kilmore Rock into an intruding third. Can we keep him and John Dawson making progress in the red jacket? They're into a share of third as they come off the turn. Ira Hayes tries to assert now running towards the second last to a pushed along Slaney Opera. Can we keep him is still staying on, pushed along is Kilmore Rock. Then what's the solution, first one Dana and so be it as they race up the hill towards the second last fence. Ira Hayes still spearhead in the pack over the second last. Can we keep him? He's staying on well. Then Slaney Opera wants the solution. Kilmore Rock and Ira Hayes finds more again. Racing up towards the 18th of final fence. Ira Hayes at the last. Over safely. Unseating rider wants the solution when closing. That leaves Kilmore Rock and can we keep him fighting out second place. But on race course debut passing the post we see a clear Ira Hayes. It's uh, going to be Kilmore Rock after these from Cambridge keeping in third and after those Slaney Opera, and so be it, and first one down.